Hey, it's Anthony Anarino in Chicago on my way to the airport, and now I understand why so many people that produce content for YouTube always carry a wide-angle lens with them, and it's because I can have this camera right up on top of me, and it'll still work. And you get to see and hear the train going by. Uh, listen, so today I was talking to a group of salespeople, and I'm constantly reminded of the importance of controlling the process and so much of the time we think we're selling the solution and we already have something in mind as to what we want to sell that client or what we think their problem is and how we would solve it but before we get there the first thing that we have to do is sell them the process and this means that we get to do the deep discovery work that lets us get to the root cause of the issue and it's important to remember that when we're doing discovery the clients doing their own discovery too. They might not have yet have done the work to recognize the root cause of the challenges that they're having or the opportunities and they may not have done the work of thinking about how's this going to play out in my company and who's going to be involved and they're doing that work while we're doing our discovery work and they may not have thought about collaborating and what we're going to build together or consensus around that and that means that we have to ask for a certain set of commitments that we need to do our very best work and the commitment to controlling the process is to say I want this client to give a fair look at this and I want them to truly explore change and I want to work with them closely enough that they can get to a good decision and that decision is should I change how should I change should I use this person to make this change is it worth the time and the energy and the resources to make this change and they're going through all of that with you at the very same time that you're trying to do your discovery but that means that you have to ask for a commitment for time and you have to ask for a commitment to explore change and you've got to ask for a commitment to get more people from their team engaged in this process to collaborate and build consensus and at some point you're going to ask for a commitment to review your solution to see if it looks right and then you're going to ask for money all of these things have to happen but you need them to commit to taking the next step with you and uh, I did the unboxing of the galley copies of The Lost Art of Closing and that's really what this book is about. It's about asking for the commitments that you need so that your prospective client goes through the process of truly considering change and giving it a fair shake and a fair look. And that's why it's so important to control the process. You've got to get that commitment. Let's just explore this together and even if it ends up that you don't win at the end, you're consultative and if something else is done I promise you'll have another bite at the apple in the future because you did such a good work helping them think about their, their problem or their opportunity and how they might solve it.